So hello there. I just want to make a quick video. I won't keep it for long. I guess basically because I tried to watch this 2020 Ethan Hawke Tesla movie. And I just couldn't get through it. It was, again, the whole rat poison thesis. It was, uh, you know, nine tenths good food and one tenth poison. And it was interesting. It did talk about how Edison screwed him over. And it did get into the whole discussion about alternating current being superior and whatnot. One thing it neglected to mention was the fact that Edison burned down a couple of his labs and tried to kill him a couple times. Yeah, let's leave that out, right? But where the movie gets really grabbled, and I mean grabble, 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 is this is something that's taking place in the 1800s. A movie about a guy who was probably one of the most genius inventors who ever lived but a guy who also admitted to channeling entities, okay? He was a spiritualist. He wasn't a Christian. But he wasn't an atheist either, like, like today's modern monkey man scientists. But the thing is, Ethan Hawke, Tesla was a realm earther, an admitted realm earther. And at some point during this ridiculous movie, and I won't show clips of it, obviously, because if I do, I'll get an immediate copyright strike from Netflix. So hey, Netflix, by the way, I'm not going to show any clips from this movie, so don't copyright strike me like a bunch of dirty grabblers. So anyway, like I said, I tried to watch the movie, came out last year, and at about an hour and 22 minutes into it, he starts going on about aliens and signals from Mars and how there has to be other life in this vast universe and blah, blah, blah. There's only one problem with that there, Ethan Hawke. The Big Bang wasn't invented until uh, the 30s by some Jesuit. I can't even remember his name. So Tesla never once considered the Big Bang Theory to be plausible. It's insane on the face of it. He was one of the smartest people who ever lived. Why would he fall for that nonsense? Before NASA, before all the cartoon lies, before all the Big Bang lies, in the movie he's going on about how his signals penetrate the curvature of the earth and blah blah blah. it's like no there is no curve and he knew that even einstein knew that einstein admitted both that tesla was much smarter than him and the smartest person in the world as it were when he was asked what it felt like but also einstein admitted that he couldn't find curve so this is before nasa and all their fake images and cartoons why would the smartest guy one of the smartest guys who ever lived go on and on and on about the curvature of the earth if this wasn't a propaganda movie. Hey, Ethan Hawke, you know, gotta ask you there, buddy. But do you even know about the guy you were supposed to play in this movie? Or the level of bearing false witness you all did? Like, bearing false witness to the nth degree. I feel bad for Tesla and his family because... I can't think of a single person in modern history who's had their name completely ran through the mud to the point where nobody even really knows who he really is. All they know for sure is that some retard that was invented by Werner von Braun in a 1952 book called Project Mars, all they really know is that some retard stole his name and made a company out of it selling cars, of all things. Yeah, Elon Husk, married to a witch steals Tesla's name to what? Make cars? By the way, it's kind of interesting that people are always paying money to short sell his stock. But yeah, anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to say about that. Tesla was a realm earther. This is nonsense. This whole, you know, alien agenda lie is rooted in the idea that Jesus was an alien. He thought he was channeling entities or the Palladian Anunnaki lie. The Galactic Federation started by Zachariah Sitchin and all those Freemason grabblers, the, the ancient astronaut theory, all that. But Tesla predates that. I mean, Tesla predates NASA. We're talking about a guy who would have read books like Zetetic Astronomy. Like, he would have known for sure. And so, this movie is clearly lying to push the alien agenda, ball earth, nonsense. Especially with uh, Elon Husk and his fake Mars landing just happening recently. Yeah, that's not weird or anything. It sounds like the Grabblers felt like amping up their whole grabble, grabble, grabble about the fake moon landing and the fake alien invasion and the fake Mars trip. And they're using Tesla, once again, besmirching his name to push this propaganda nonsense. 
And I guess that pisses me off enough that I felt like I had to make this quick little video. So, whatever, I guess. Peace out.